Hello, my name is Laura Modali and welcome to Science for Education. Supporting teaching and learning in science education. In this episode, we are going to learn a little bit about DNA by doing an activity, human DNA extraction. Collecting human DNA can be done in different ways, from hair, saliva, urine, skin cells, blood, etc. But today, we are going to do it in a non-invasive way that you can do it at home, which is collecting it from saliva. To do this activity, we will need a tablespoon of salt, two cups of water, some dish soap, some isopropyl alcohol, 70%. It is best if you keep it in the freezer before use, and a couple of cups. Before we continue to prepare this activity, the person that we collect the saliva from needs to brush their teeth and rinse their mouth from food like 30 minutes prior to collecting the saliva. Let's do this activity. First, we will add a tablespoon of salt into two cups of water and stir the mixture. Next, gargle the salt water for one minute and spit it into the cup. And then add two drops of liquid dish soap and stir gently. We will continue by adding a half cup of the alcohol into the mixture and waiting. Now after a few minutes, you should be able to see DNA floating around in the liquid mixture. An individual DNA strand is hard to see with our naked eye. You will need a high-powered microscope to be able to see it, but we can see them with our naked eye when they clumped together. Deoxyribonucleic acid or abbreviated as DNA, is the molecule that carries genetic information for the development and functioning of an organism. DNA is made of two linked strands that wind around each other to resemble a twisted ladder, a shape known as a double helix. Each strand has a backbone made of alternating sugar, or deoxyribose, and phosphate groups. Attached to each sugar is one of four bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, or thymine. The two strands are connected by chemical bonds between the bases. So, for example, adenine bonds with thymine and cytosine bonds with guanine. Now, the order or sequence of these bases determines what biological instructions are contained in a strand of DNA. For example, the sequence of ATCGTT might give the instructions for blue eyes, while ATCGCT might specify brown eyes. The complete DNA instruction book for a human contains about 3 billion bases and about 20,000 genes on 23 pairs of chromosomes. DNA makes each of us who we are. We are all far more alike than we are different because if you take or extract DNA from any two people and have them analyzed, these two people are 99.9% identical. The differing 0.1% contains variations that influence our uniqueness. I hope you enjoy our lesson today about DNA, and if you feel inclined to learn about different concepts of science and want to keep up to date with our lesson videos that come out every Monday, you may hit the subscribe button below, and I will see you next time.